Okay. So I want to show you one more set of debugging tools in Xcode. And this one will require some rerunning of the application, but it's worth it in this case. So there are two buttons that are available to you on this middle console in between your bottom toolbar and the place where you see your code. Seventh from the left, you'll see three rectangles, one in front of the other two. And when you hover over it, it says debug view hierarchy. With your simulator running, you can click on this button. And what it's going to bring up is a demonstration of all of the views that are currently visible on your application. You'll notice on the left, we have this outline. This outlines all of the views that you see on screen right now. And as I use the down arrow to scroll through them, it will highlight in blue the one that I'm currently looking at. So you'll see that here when we start to get to the views that appear at the very top of the view stack. And you'll see what I mean by that in a second. I'm at the top of the view stack now and I can see my general view for the whole controller. Now I'm looking at my stack view for the specific information that I share about my like pineapple image there. So I have the stack view and I scroll down. I can see all of these individual horizontal stack views that I made. And then of course the image view as well. Now I can also see vertically how these images are stacked on top of each other by clicking and dragging on the screen here. This gives me a 3D view of which views are appearing on top of what, which can be useful if I'm trying to figure out why something's not appearing and the reason ends up being that there's another view placed on top of it so it's not visible. Now I'm going to rerun the application and show you the other tool that you can use. So once again, I have my simulator running here. This will work on any screen, but it's most useful on a table view screen like this one or something that holds multiple objects. So I'm looking at my simulator now and I'm going to click once again in the middle console on the button just to the left of debugging the view hierarchy here. It says debug memory graph on it. When I click on it, it's gonna show me all of the objects currently held in memory for the application. I can see over on the left-hand side, once again, a menu of what all of those objects are. And so I have access to all of these objects representing different pieces of my iOS framework, the app delegate, the detail view controller, the fruit service, the list view controller, this will also show me any sub-objects that I have represented, including any views, any particular pieces of data, and those types of things. We are going to be looking a little more at object graphs like this in future videos when we talk about how iOS handles objects on the background to keep an app running efficiently on a small device.